Chakari Richardson is now a name that resonates beyond the track and field circle. At the age of just 21, she's already one of the fastest women over 100 meters in the history of the sport. After the 2021 season where she became famous for smoking weed prior to her Olympic trial 100 meters win. While her fame caused her to miss her first Olympic Games, it made way for the most infamous rise in track and field's history. The start of the 2021 season, Shakari Richardson was set to embark on her first full uninterrupted season as a professional athlete. She turned pro in the latter stages of the 2019 season. The decision to sign with Nike after the collegiate season made sense, but came as a shock to some because she was still a freshman when she did so. After failing to make a huge mark since becoming a professional, Richardson headlined a 100 meters female lineup in Murrumer, Florida, and to everyone's surprise Richardson sped to 10.72 seconds, the fastest season opener in the sport's history. That time was important and would play a vital role in her meteoric rise, given that it elevated her to the fourth fastest woman in her country's history, placing her alongside some legends of the sport and more importantly, it was an Olympic year. So a couple months later when Richardson went on to win the 100 meters title at the US Olympic trials, it seemed as if everything was on track for her to take home the gold. That is, until the 1st of July 2021, when Jamaica Gleaner broke the news that the American rising star was banned, at first there was disappointment, but when it was announced that the reason for her ban was marijuana, things took a drastic turn. U.S. sprinter Shakari Richardson will not compete in at least one event at the Olympic Games. The standout runner tested positive for cannabis at the U.S. Olympic trials in June. This started a huge backlash from everyone. Debates raged on for weeks. Oh my God, I, listen, we are living in, in a bizarro time, man. We are living in the craziest times of all time where somebody who smokes weed can't compete, but a biological man can compete against women, and that's not a problem at all. And in the midst of it, Richardson gave her raw and filtered opinion, which actually added to her now growing fan base because she was now seen as authentic and relatable. While most athletes would go down the sympathy route, Richardson took on the role as the Conor McGregor of track and field, which is what truly saw her skyrocket to a new level of stardom. Not, who the f is that guy? As a result of her controversial statement and trash talk if you will, she gained 2 million followers on Instagram, more than Allison Felix, Shelly Ann Fraser, and even the eventual Olympic champion Elaine Thompson Hera. She also became a prized product for Nike, was endorsed by celebrities and the president. She doesn't only has followers and recognition, according to The Sun Richardson's net worth is around $5 million, not the most in the world, but that's more than female world and Olympic champions. What she did was prove that in an individual sport, you have to get some attention off the field of play. To increase the attention on the field, we've seen it work in other sports, and it has carried over in track, and as much as there is dislike for her methods, there is no disputing that is as effective as it gets in a social media-heavy world.